getting uh, serious. So I'm gonna make a save here because when you once you flip over to chapter three, the characters you can recruit are set. Like once you get here, you can't reset the characters anymore. You have to go, you have to restart a new game to change which characters you get for recruitment. So you get four cutscenes in a row. One, two, three, four. Four cutscenes in a row that you just skip through, and then this after this cutscene, you go straight to the base. So you skip the cutscene and immediately go to the base. No, don't mash X here, or else you go straight to the squad barracks. That's bad. You want to go to the command room here. Now there are a few units you want to uh, for the run. There's specifically four units you want. Uh, I'll touch up on them later. I'll touch up on them as we pass them. So I'll just master all this text here. No problem. Okay, we got one, two, three. We got all the characters we need. Okay. So at the start of this, we're going to recruit it. Now, the first character you want to look for is Nancy. She's going to be a female scout, so she's there. She's on the mate list. She's going to be uh, on the list, and she's pretty high for a female scout. So, if you don't get Nancy, the second character you're looking for is Wavy. Wavy. W-A-V-I. He's going to be a male scout, so he's going to be around here at the beginning. <clears throat> if, that's a backup if you don't get Nancy. Okay, so now that we have Nancy, we're going to grab her. And now hit right on the hit right on whatever you want to scroll down the list, and then uh, go to go to two up from the top, and that's when that's gonna start the uh, shock trooper list. So you're gonna want two shock troopers, two male shock troopers, specifically male shock troopers, because female shock troopers are slower. Doesn't matter. So you're gonna grab the first two shock troopers you see here. And then you're going to be look. and then uh, it's not necessary, but it's helpful. You're going to be looking for either Mika, Mika, Jane, or Nina. These are the uh, shock trooper. These are shock troopers that are very helpful for the final chapter, but not needed. In fact, I can just mash through all the shock troopers I want to. But just for sakes, uh, look for Mika. If you find them, grab them. If you don't, look for Jane and Nina. If you don't see either of them, just mash through shock troopers. But you want four shock troopers for menuing purposes. So once you have your four shock troopers, hit right one more time, and it'll go, and then it'll scroll down to the uh, lancers here. And then from here, you just want to mash, mash through the confirm button to recruit everybody else from this list. That's it. You want to go. It'll recruit all your lancers except for the first lancer you see. Uh, it'll recruit all your snipers, all your engineers, and that's your entire squad. So, oh yeah, the last character you want is Marina here. And then you want two specific uh, Lancers if you could get them, but this is like, it's a RNG. So the characters you want are Theod and Yoko for Chapter 7, and that's the only time you need them. So you want these two characters. If you don't get them, then uh, you gotta look for them later. And the last one you need, you want is Marina, because she's the only sniper with ultimate accuracy, which is really good. So I'm going to show off what this, uh, so that's all the recruitment. And I'm going to show off what the recruitment looks like at full speed. Uh, let me just uh, recruit everybody here. And of course, I would get perfect recruitment when I'm not doing a run. Uh. So yeah, it turns out you don't actually need me Micah, Jane, or Nina. Like originally thought, but they're extremely, extremely useful regardless. So, recruitment starts. From here, I immediately see Nancy. Oh, my bad. I forgot. There's no cutscene if you're recruiting a character again. It's only the first time you grab him. Okay, so I see Nancy. Grab her. Cutscene plays. Hit right. Go straight to the shock troopers. All right, grab my two shock troopers here. Good. Then I see... Uh, then While I'm doing that, I'm looking for Mika on the list. If I see him, good. I grab him. And then just grab the next shock trooper or whatever. It doesn't really matter. I grab Edie because I want Edie on my team for the hell of it. After that, hit right one more time, and then you'll go straight to the Lancers. While you're creating the Lancers, you want to look for Yoko and Theo to know if it's going to be a good run or not. And then from there, just recruit everybody from the list. Same thing, you're going to look for Marina once she goes once she goes far enough down the list. And if you don't grab her, you're going to have to grab her later. 
But the recruitment char the characters you get for recruitment are random at start. So that's your recruitment there. From there you go to the training field. Um, just as it's a tutorial, still, you need to go through every area in this base once, except for the squad barracks. You never need to go there, ever. It's just a giant waste of time if you do. So for the squad barracks, as long as you killed the leader on the last mission, you should have enough experience for this, no problem. So, level up scouts, level up shock troopers, and level up engineers. Oh wait, not shock troopers. Sorry. Scouts? Lancers and engineers. Just hold right and then hit down. Make sure you don't go to. Make sure you don't hit down too fast, because as you see here, the difference between leveling up and not leveling up is one experience. If you were to hold right and just stop once it looks full, like for example, like this, uh, I went too far. But you can totally. But if you. Go too fast, and just you could actually stop one experience short of leveling up here, so you don't want to do that. So you have max, you have full experience of scouts, lancers, and engineers. From there, you just bash through this. So you have level two scout, and then from there, you love engineers and lancers again. So you have level three lancers and engineers, and this will get you defense up because of level three engineers. So you get defense boost, and then from there you just immediately hit uh, exit, and it'll immediately exit. After any other time you enter here, you have to confirm do you want to exit. So just something to remember. So that's training field. And then you go to the research and development facility, and we're going to be upgrading a few weapons here. So I'll just master Leon's text here. It's gonna take a while. So yeah, I do all my menuing on the, or most of my menu on the controller because I'm used to it from running a PS3 version. Uh, if you feel comfortable enough, you can do it on keyboard. It doesn't really matter. So from here, immediately just mash X to upgrade rifles. Uh, you want the Galleon 2, so the first rifle, you see. Hit left, hit L1 or left trigger or whatever. Uh, or Q twice. Right, to go in straight to the uh, uniform upgrade and upgrade that. Then from here, you hit uh, you hit square or X if you're using the Xbox controller, or tab if you're using the uh, keyboard. And I'll immediately go back to the beginning of the R and D R and D menu. And then from there, you just hit cancel, and it'll bring you out. And then with that, we're done with headquarters for the beginning. So that recruitment is done, and we move on to the rest of Chapter 3. So a few cutscenes here, and then Chapter 3. So this is when you first get to place units, and placing units is... Well, it's just working on placing units, and then you'll slowly get faster on it. So since this is the first chapter you have recruitment, it automatically places all your leaders for you, so they're not in the menu, which is nice. So, once you get into here, you just want to bash X here, and it'll immediately bring the recruitment. It'll bring Nancy, and then your first shock trooper. Okay. And you just want to put them in the default spots to gain put something for you. So you'll have your shock trooper on the left, and the scout to the right. The only exception to this is if your first shock trooper is Alex. So let's say, so let's pretend uh, Kevin is Alex. In that case, you select Nancy. Right, default spot, and then immediately afterwards hit down to select your second shock trooper. You don't want to use Alex here because he could cost you a lot of time. So here's how recruitment would look like. Like that. That's all recruitment is at full speed. So you just mash X through here, unless your first shock trooper is Alex. In which case, you don't want to put him here. You want to put a second shock trooper instead of Alex. And then deploy. So that's all the plumbing you need here. <laughs> so 
So just master text. So I was going to start off with a tutorial here. All right, and once you get see, once you start seeing the uh, HUD here, you just want to stop mashing here, or else you'll accidentally select the anyways. Then from here, you open up the unit list, which is square or tab. Hit up two times to go to your shock trooper here, and then select them. And that's it for the, and that's pretty much it for the start. So again, I like to open up my map just so I know where I'm going and everything. It's also how to have it. So you want to hold forward over the sand bag here. Don't move the camera, just hold forward for the entire first turn. That's it. And that's the entire first move. So from here, we're going to basically go this direction here. And stop here for a second action here. Very simple. So select your shock trooper again. Turn slightly to the right here. And then while you're moving upward, hold hit tab. So that you switch to your, so you switch immediately to the, so you switch to the grenade while you're running. You want to do this while you're running. It's not complicated. So you want the grenade here. And you want to be basically right here. And it, it will all target this shock trooper leader here. You don't want to kill him, but you just want to knock him out of the base. The problem with Alex is that he has a potential called Scout Killer, which will trigger when he gets near scouts, which we just ran past. And it increases his damage done. Which means his grenade will kill this guy, which is very bad because that causes a bunch of cutscenes and tutorials to happen. So, open up the you open up the grenade, aim it. You'll automatically target this guy. You want to aim slightly to the left of him so that it's no longer orange. Right? This will launch him out of the base, destroy the sandbag in front of you, and not kill him at the same time. And since you're out of movement, you can just end your turn immediately so they don't shoot at you. So, very simple stuff. So, this guy is now out of the base here. As you see the base area, he's completely out of it. This guy, though, is still in the base area, so we need to kill him. So, once again, select your shock trooper. Hold forward until you see... Okay, not dropping frames. So, select your shock trooper. Hold forward until you see Occupy crossed out on your uh, HUD here. So, right there, Occupy is crossed out. So, now that I know that I can Occupy the base, aim... And you want to aim towards this guy's face, or else he'll probably live if you aim for the body. So, just slightly aim upward to his face here, and he's dead. And then from there, just immediately start mashing the confirm button so you catch the base as soon as possible. And that's chapter 3. So yeah, chapter 3 done. Just master this here, and you're good.